Watch out! Apollo Justice Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system due to it featuring mild blood, suggestive themes, and violent references? Whatever those are. Oh well, viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Hey there, honey! And guess. Welcome everybody, ladies and gentlemen, to Color from Artie and Color from Artie's new co-op Let's Play, Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. Yeah! Most people probably expected this one was going to come sooner or later. So Later. We, <laughs> later, as in 2007, but we're, we're, <laughs> we're, we're recording it in 2019. Yeah. So this is the spiritual successor to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, the trilogy. No longer do we have Phoenix Wright as the main character, we have... A new guy, Apollo Justice. Is he bald and then has like two I mean, little pieces of hair? <laughs> you're you're going to figure that out eventually. Okay. So this one... He gets we're... all of his hair like like um, buzzed off from a villain. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of game do you think this is? I don't know. So basically this plays almost exactly the same as the Ace Attorney games. However, plays a lot more similarly to Rise from the Ashes from the first game because... That and this were made for the free D uh, the DS specifically, not for the Game Boy Advance. Okay. Ported. So it's gonna have better graphics. It's gonna have way better animations. Oh yeah. Like oh, yeah. even just character animations are oh, gonna be a lot more fluid. And we're gonna be able fluid. to examine things better. Yes. Good, because I was sick of not being able to. All right. Let's just jump in. I so this this is pretty pull. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's just, just, jump, let's in. just jump in. Let's just jump in. We're on episode one. Turn about Trump, <laughs> but not I see. But, but not that. <laughs> I see. Not that kind of Trump though. <laughs> Uh-huh. It, it, is it going to be like a poker? <laughs> Guys, we have to build a wall to keep the criminals out. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And, okay. Go before you leave everyone. All right, everyone has All already right. left the video. All right, episode one, turn about Trump. Three, two, one, go. No idea what the heck I'm going to see. Let's see. Ooh, beautiful art. Beautiful artist. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, wow, really good animation. You're right. You've seen nothing yet. Canvas. Ugh, you really should clean up the place, dude. Oh, it is like poker! Showdown time. <laughs> I see your jack and raise you a club. You lose. He just pulls out a gun and it's like... Ah! Oh, he poisoned something. Yeah! He either poisoned something or he just struck him with the, with the wine bottle. Oh, this is the perfect ending to my painting. <laughs> With your blood. Huh? What's up? I seem to be in a bit of trouble. Something like that. Dead. Someone hit him. Hard. Me? Please. The cops should be here any minute. I'm in your hands. Should it come to that. Huh. Okay. Don't know what's happening. Oh, that's right. It's the new trial of opening without <laughs> investigating. Okay, every first case is like that. You've got to yeah, get over it. But I forgot, and I was getting so excited. Oh, uh, okay. uh, one thing. Okay, I I personally like this case. You might not like it because there is like no female characters. Is Winston Payne back? Possibly. Cool. <laughs> it's April twentieth, nine thirty-seven a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby Number Three. Oh, I gotta give Apollo a slightly different voice, I think. Just so people don't get, like... Make him a little more nerdy. No, no. <laughs> I gotta make him, like, louder. Panicked. Palm sweaty. I can admit it. I'm nervous. Ah, good morning. What? G good morning, sir! Who is this anime boy here? He's got the glasses. I'm waiting for him to, like, push him back on his nose. Blonde <laughs> hair. You look tense, Justice. Wound up tight. W wound up, sir? No! I'm loose! I'm fine! That screeching noise. Is that your voice? I suppose it's to be expected. Your first trial, and it's a homicide. I guess justice doesn't start small, eh? Oh uh, I'm fine! I got up at 5 a.m. to do my Courts of Steel voice workout! I'm fine! Okay. This <laughs> <laughs> Edit this out in case we upload these differently. You sound exactly like Bailey. <laughs> from, yeah, from uh, that's Jonathan fine. <laughs> yeah. That'll be uploaded before this, I think. Okay. Ah, that explains it. Kristoff? That's his name? I did detect a certain rasping quality to your screech. <coughs> I overdid it again. What am I going to do? I love here? that animation. As you know, your client today is a good friend of mine. I wouldn't want to let him down. 
if you get my drift. Drift God, sir! Uh, I'm all over that drift! As it happens, I dined with him on the night of the murder. We can't let this case fall through. Uh, yes! Yes! I'm fine, sir! Uh, one more thing. Don't say you're fine quite so much. People might take you the wrong way. I'll be preparing our case. You might want to introduce yourself to the client. Who's the client? Good question. My name is Apollo Justice. Uh, if it isn't clear already, I'm a new attorney. Is that differentiating from Bailey a bit more? Yeah. I think it's cool. And today's my first trial. Uh, not that I'm worried or anything. Uh, the defendant has been accused of murder. That's exactly how the <laughs> other one opened. <laughs> my <laughs> boss wants to help him out, of course. And so do I. I mean, there's no way he did it. Not him. No way. It's just Larry Butts. Some dude who has the worst haircut ever. <laughs> <laughs> you can barely even see it no, under that. You know his haircut is bad if he comes in with a beanie that has a this brownie pa. face on it. <laughs> pa! I call him a pa, great. No, no, but he, he's like got the little bit of a whiskery <laughs> look. <laughs> okay, alright, who wants to go back to Egypt, everybody? <laughs> Whoa! Uh, good, uh, morning! Morning. It's all up to you today. First trial, nervous. Meeting him, cardiac arrest. Eh, you'll be fine. I think I'm supposed to say something. Uh, help? So, you're... Fine! Uh, I'm fine! Ah, uh, Mr. Fine, is it? Uh... uh... I did remember you having an odd name. Well, we're off to a great start. <laughs> um, are you sure you're okay? I mean, with me? Mr. Fine? Mr. Gavin is a top-notch defense attorney, and he's your friend, so why? You'll see. I don't trust him. Uh? You can do it. Be confident. Um, Why I... is one eye shaped differently than the <laughs> other one? <laughs> he's got, like, the lazy eye going on. Does he? Okay. I'm really sorry this happened to you. I mean, I mean, I... It's time. Shall we? Y yes, sir! Cool. Oh, oh, the judge might be different in this game. Okay, I need to focus. First trial. Here comes justice. What's up? A it's April 20th. April 20th, 10 a.m., district court, courtroom number two. Cool. Who are these weirdos? The court is now in session. What? You're still here? <laughs> You're, aren't you dead by now? No offense. How, how long do you think this takes place after the last game? It's 2007. It's been no, at least that's five the, years. That's the okay. That was when the game was released. Well, okay. I'm assuming the first that game he's... takes place in 2016. Okay. Well, I don't know. Well, we'll maybe, find out. Maybe it's 2019. The court is now in session. You, you, sure. <laughs> you can do Payne's voice. The prosecution's ready, Your Honor. <laughs> uh, the defense is uh fine. Uh, I mean, ready, Your oh, Honor. Oh man, what a guy. <laughs> Mind going blank. <laughs> don't panic. Ah, too he looks late. like he looks like that firebender from um the water tribe who has the really old fire nation like, oh, suit. Oh, oh the weird uh the jerky guy. The yeah, guy that I like they throw into the water. And then he's never seen again, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Your name was Mr. Justice? And this is your first trial? You yes, Your Honor, but I'm fine, really. Are you quite sure? Your voice sounds a bit strained. <coughs> Um, Mr. Gavin? Yes, Your Honor. I was under the impression that you would be heading up this case. That was my intention, yes. Yeah, so you mentioned your friend Gavin. I always thought of this Gavin when I heard it. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> yes. Oh, my friend Gavin looks nothing like that. Oh. Although he does, he's got like blonde streaks in his hair, but he looks more French than that. No, <laughs> Are you okay. saying Christophe doesn't, doesn't look, look French? French? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> I, I'm liking this guy a lot. Oh yeah, I love Kristoff. Okay, He's great. this is kind of my brain. How much time has taken place? When, when Apollo Justice has the utter stink eye of like, mm. he looks like Cody. Cody. So wow. I think maybe that's how much time has passed. It's like Cody's now twenty, and this guy's now twenty. Oh, Cody Hacken. Cody Hacken. I thought you were talking about the dog that we know. Cody, no. I'm like, like facial expression wise, I guess. <laughs> That's a dog. Not Cody a is our sister-in-law's family's dog. It's and adorable. He's, great. he's adorable. I need to see him again. 
Uh, however, a defense attorney must always be cede to his client's wishes. And my client specifically requested Mr. Justice. Well, of course he wants justice, but to entrust his case to this greenhorn? <laughs> Why? I do not exaggerate when I say that you're the best defense attorney in town, Mr. Gavin. Okay, so Gavin's got trial experience, fine, but does he have cords of steel? <laughs> I like how the, the room looks different. I think this is yeah, like better in a graphics. different town. It's, it's better graphics, I think. Oh. Then let's begin. The defendant may enter the courtroom. Yeah. Okay. Sup, bros. <laughs> you need a better sense of style, dude. This is truly an unfortunate turn of events. I'm sorry we had to meet again under these circumstances. Who's this Long dude? time no see, Mr. Wright. Oh, you are... <laughs> You're in some, um... Yeah, you have not been doing well. Okay, so I'll say this, um... Apollo Justice is a pretty polarizing game in the franchise for a couple reasons. Main polarizing. reason is how they've portrayed Phoenix Wright in this game. <laughs> he looks like he looks like a bum, which is kind <laughs> well, yeah, of yeah, he funny, does look like a bum. But you can see he's kind of got the little spiky yeah, hair coming he, out the back, and you're like, that's yeah. the worst haircut ever. No, it looks like he just like had a jackhammer taken to his hair, and oh. then that's why I thought he had the the, the beanie. The beanie. Well, maybe it's... where's Maya though? That's my question. Also, what the heck happened? <laughs> This bro. This <laughs> well, I'm dude. sure we'll find out. <laughs> Let's put the past behind us, shall we? These days, I'm merely Phoenix Wright, piano player. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you doing that, I guess. Mr. Wright, how could this have happened? Uh. I won't speak of it further, then. If the prosecution would be so kind as to explain the charges, Mr. Payne. To think! I saw you enter this room a fresh attorney, and now I'll see you leaving chains. <laughs> your, your voice is a little shrill. <laughs> leave you li leave in chains. Leave you, what, you leave in <laughs> chains. <laughs> yes. Winston Payne. Ah, uh, Winston Payne. Subtle as ever, I see. I wonder how old Phoenix Wright is. Like, he's not, like, super old. Court record. But why? Let's is, check. What is up with Winston Payne's Attorney's hair? badge. How long did I yearn for one of these? Just putting it on makes me feel ready. Oh, we get to look at everything. Yeah, we do. Oh, also, I believe... So we can zoom like that. And... Oh, man. We're gonna actually have to use the mouse. Oh, no. I don't want to use the mouse. <laughs> There's a number inscribed on the back of the badge. There are many numbers like it, but this one is mine. Proof that I'm an attorney. Oh, man. I have so many questions. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I think, I think the main thing is just, like... I honestly kind of like what they've done, though, thus far. Like, I don't yeah. know what happened, but Phoenix Wright, like, he was not the person to be an attorney. <laughs> he needed so much outside help <laughs> to be an attorney. And he used to be an art student, so I'm like, yeah, yeah go pursue piano. Be, be the think, dude. like, physical art, not music, but all right. Still. I no, got a happy feeling just arts. looking at it. I, I, I feel like I can't decide on an Apollo voice. It, basically, his voice is loud, his and I can't really loud. do his objection voice all that well. Uh, does, he, does he narrate it? Yeah, it has I'll, I'll hear okay, it Okay, Christoph Gavin, 32. Boss at Gavin Law Offices, a first-rate defense attorney and my trusted mentor. Phoenix Wright, 33. So, so 10 years. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, this game takes years. place eight years, I believe, after eight Trials years. and Tribulations. Former... Piano at the Borscht Bowl Club, formerly an ace defense attorney of, of some renown. Yeah, I <laughs> Shady Smith, the victim That's... in this case, a it's... traveler only recently back in country. His beard! What is... <laughs> He He's like Jafar. Like, yeah, his beard is terrible. He looks like he just hopped out of, like, Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> Mean Andreas John Marston. I mean, Shady Smith. Winston Payne, 61. The prosecuting attorney. For all his experience, he lacks a certain presence. Yeah, Why yeah. did he get the hair extensions? There! He looks like... He looks oh my gosh, he looks, he looks terrible. Like, he looks like uh, one of those musicians that died a young, at, a, like, 45 in the 1600s. <laughs> Oh, yeah, a little bit. Otherwise, he looks like, um, Cleopatra's hair if she went bald. <laughs> Ahem! <laughs> oh, am I still doing it? Okay, if, <laughs> otherwise you will, like, not voice anybody. In this case, The please. crime occurred at Borscht Bull Club! Is that how you say it? The Borscht Bull Club. The Borscht Bull Club, a Russian restaurant. <laughs> Those are popular <laughs> in America. <laughs> the defendant, Phoenix Wright, took the victim, a customer... And hit him! Wham! On the head! Smack! Killed him cold! Hmm. A customer at the restaurant, you say? And the defendant, you say he was? The pianist for the club, it seems. Phoenix Wright? A pianist? This is the weapon that took the victim's life! 
a bottle of grape juice, not wine. Okay, to be but fair. But it's true. To be it, fair, yeah. it's still grape juice in the Japanese version because they are way more strict about alcohol references than we are in America. That's hilarious because Cookie Mama has alcohol references everywhere. Hey, Nobu wants sake. <laughs> <laughs> grape juice is apparently our defendant's drink of choice. The court accepts the deadly bottle as evidence. I used to, I was randomly on like a kick of grape juice as a child. I remember like, I loved grape juice, like Welch's grape juice oh, yeah. or whatever. And then Newman's I haven't, own. I haven't had it in like so long. I don't really like, I kind of like just am a water guy. I'll yeah. occasionally have a spray. I, I will always spray. have water. Deadly much. bottle added to the court record. Something to note, Justice. All evidence is filed in the court record. Make a practice of checking it frequently. I hope Edgeworth's still an attorney. The court record. Right! I've heard of that! I, I bet you they're gonna be like, Edgeworth's dead. <laughs> Again. <laughs> but this time he actually is. He's dead! <laughs> Use the court record button to look at the evidence so far. I'm confident in your ability to handle this. We've played like three games. We're fine. Right! The court record button. Sounds like it's time for some hands-on action. So, the victim was a customer at this restaurant. Oh yeah, we have the autopsy- Smith's <laughs> autopsy report! The time of death was around 2 a.m. April 17th, death caused by a single blow to the forehead. Oh wow! Victim's name, Shady Smith. We don't know his age. Estimated time of death, April 17th, between 1.45 a.m. and 2.15 a.m. Oh, that's- that's more decent <laughs> It's SMB. cause of death, cerebral hemorrhaging resulting from blunt trauma, trauma to the, the for forehead. <laughs> what is with this blunt trauma to head business? They do this so much. So yeah! Granted, <laughs> granted, there's not a lot of blood that way. And it's not at right. Like, and I'm sure they branch off of that in other games, like later on, because people are like, seriously, can we stop having blunt force trauma? To That's not even the most. Okay, people get stabbed and shot just as often in the series. You get you get blunt force trauma to head way more. I think I, we went over this at the end of the last game. We're not doing it again. <laughs> okay, fine. Crime photo one. The sub basement of at the Borschbull Club. Oh man. I just want to wear my hat. Hard. For a sec, I thought he was only wearing an overcoat and those were his abs. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Shady Smith was ripped. But no, that's, How did a, he that's a shirt. Because it's bottle. black and white, that's why I thought that. Also, this is the logic and trick music of the game. Grape, grape juice. juice. How long has it been since I drank grape juice? Oh, they have... Wait, they have symbols on there. That's cool. Apparently, it's Mr. Wright's favorite drink. I wonder how well it goes with borscht. What is borscht? I... It's a cold lobster, I think? Ew! <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. The bottle's completely empty. Somebody drank the entire thing. <laughs> Not like Anyhow, all at once. This is why our first cases take forever. We're already <laughs> like at the 20 minute mark almost. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but just who was this um, Shady Smith fellow? We believe he was a traveler, your honor. A traveler? According to his passport, he had been out of the country for a number of years. I hope people don't mind Marty doing his You know voice. what? <laughs> they will have to mind, or have <laughs> to not mind, because I have nothing to do right now, except for talk about grape juice and stuff. <laughs> and Saki. And Saki. He had and only friend, recently Gavin. returned to this country. Uh, he'd only returned to the country recently, though his place of residence is unclear. And he had some sort of connection with the defendant? Nobody cares about Winston Payne. That too is unclear at the present, Your Honor. We believe they first met at the Borscht, the Borscht Bull Club. That's so hard to say. It's Borscht Bull Club. Borscht Bull Club. You're the person who couldn't say Chicken Kitchen as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just have to call it Chick Fil A for a while. Chick Fil A. On the night of the crime. If they had only just met, then why murder? Perhaps the victim slighted the defendant's piano playing. That doesn't appear to have been the case. No motive had nothing to do with the defendant's lack of playing skill. At least not piano playing. I'll let this photo explain what you mean. Is he just like jumping on the table? Or the piano? <laughs> jumping on the table. As we can see, a game of poker was in progress at the scene of the crime. Payne's voice gets worse in every game. <laughs> <laughs> and it's harder to voice too. <laughs> well, I can't, I haven't looked at the editing yet for the third game, so I can't remember what voice I gave him. But I feel like it's just, <laughs> as the episodes go on, we just give him like the, like, I can't do that, <laughs> Here's the thing though, that's the point of Winston Payne is like, he's the one that we always be. <laughs> so he has to be pathetic sounding. Right. Wait a second. Is it poker gambling? That's a crime in and of itself. Is it? Indeed, it appears our defendant has fallen to become the basest sort of crime. Criminal. Is it true? It is true that the defendant was engaged in a game of poker with the victim. It's not like it's illegal. Yet, it was only that. A game. In the purest sense, a competition, your honor. 
Uh, competition? Yes, a test of wits, a silent clash of passions. Only the cards, their backs wreathed in blue flame, know its final outcome. Er, uh, come again? The cards on the table had blue backs, Your Honor! I believe the defense was waxing poetic in an attempt to mystify those present and impress women. That will be our first order of business here, then. Are any women impressed by Karen Kristoff Evans' poetry <laughs> skills? <laughs> to find out more about this fatal game of cards. Phoenix Wright, why do you look like you're about to murder somebody? Because <laughs> he's about to murder somebody. He yeah, hates pain. That will be the one thing that'll, like, be sad, is if this case is just like, no, Phoenix Wright did it. He's going to jail. <laughs> you're like, that's the end of Phoenix Wright. Wow. Wow. To apologize. <laughs> like, they Very well, defendant. You will testify to the court about the poker competition held the night of the crime. My pleasure. This is it. My first trial. Here goes nothing. How long are attorneys... How long do they usually have their jobs? Like, obviously, Winston Payne is, like, super long-suffering doing his job. Forever. I can't quit until I win a case! <laughs> what?! <laughs> how would they keep him if he's never won a case? <laughs> I have very reasonable rates. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the competition. I'm a pianist by trade, yet I can hardly play at all. Brilliant. My real job is to take on interested customers over at the poker table. Uh-huh. The room where we play and the competition in there are the club's main attractions. The rules are simple. We play a game of poker using two decks of cards. That's all it is. A game. And our customers are happy. Except... Somebody wasn't happy because... Except because he didn't win the Powerball lottery. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. A pianist who can't even play piano? Better than a defense attorney who can't defend! Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right, Your Honor! My first cross-examination! Don't blow it! I like his outfit. <laughs> like... It's styling! It's so Wait, are you styling. talking about Gavin's or just uh, Both of them. <laughs> Gavin's so got the real... Mm. Oh, if he yeah. had a cravat... <laughs> he doesn't uh, need... He's got the fancy bow tie. That's true. Are you alright? You're sweating bullets. Bullets? Where?! It's, it's a figure of speech, Justice. Your voice sounds strained and raspy, too. My brain feels strained and raspy, sir. You've watched me perform cross-examinations many times. Though you've never done one yourself, have you? care for a refresher? No. What to do? Uh, should I ask Gavin for a refresher? This is not working. His voice is not working. I gotta... What should I do? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> we're, we're experts. Him, him thinking. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like the utter stinker. Not that you're gonna give him another stinker voice. <laughs> and you, and you, and you, I don't need, need it. it. No. No. <laughs> absolutely not. Uh, no need for help here, sir. I think I've got this one covered. I think part of the problem is it's too deep. He seems young. Like, I don't know how old apologists. I kind of... Okay, his objection voice is like, OBJECTION! OBJECTION! Yeah, that so. means you'd be like, hey, what's up? Like, I've... think think Sora from Kingdom Hearts, and then you'll get it. Which one? The first game or the later games? <laughs> uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. Hey, guys, yeah. Sora! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll think about it. I think you'd better do more than think. <laughs> you know it, or you do not. <laughs> I'm fine. The Courts of Steel are ready for battle. Yeah, that's better. My weapons press and present. Find any inconsistencies, any lies in the testimony, and reveal them to the court. That is cross-examination. Learn it, know it, do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> <laughs> Insert that later, please. Inconsistencies, lies, Phoenix Wright? As if, Phoenix Wright would never lie, and it's up to me to prove it. Now he's got a lazy eye, too. What the hell? The, mm -hmm. the defense may begin the cross-examination. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. The competition. Oh my gosh, he looks like... Payne looks like a girl now in his side profile. Hey! Hey, hey Gonzo! Hey! <laughs> I'm a pianist by trade. Hold it! Oh, I'll have to hear him say it next time. Oh, sorry. No. You, you can hardly play? Oh, I play sometimes. When customers demand it. So I play them one song. That's usually all they want. Chopsticks! <laughs> <laughs> Was that supposed to be a boast just now? The title of Pianist is a mask. A respectable face I wear for the world at large. Then why are you really at the Borscht Bowl Club? My real job is to take on interested customers over at the poker table. Hold it! Hold it! I am the main attraction! <laughs> they pay you oh. just to play poker? <laughs> oh, But he I... has to be loud. No, I know what the voice is, though. And now it's bugging me. Hold it! Hold it! 
That wasn't this, the voice. No, yeah, that sounds a bit like it. Okay, oh, no, I know exactly who he sounds like. He sounds like the philosophy club president guy from Up on Poppy Hill. I don't remember. Th- you don't remember him? So, I remember we're him. We're the philosophy club. Believe that. I remember us- him. I don't remember his exact voice. That's his voice. He sounds like a lower Pleakley. Oh no! The park guardian <laughs> killed my voice. I'm not. We just- are the park guardian. I said. I'm the Paul Just. I'm the Paul Just. No, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice if I could just give him Phoenix's voice, but Phoenix is in the game. I can't. Is he in it more than the first trial? Possibly. Oh, <laughs> I was like, if he's out in the first trial, it's just like. No, I, I want to give Apollo. He's not a different getting voice. bumped off. That would seem to be the case. I am a professional, after all. But do I detect pride in that statement? It's just hard for an honest, hard-working member of society like me to imagine. <laughs> I didn't take a breath. Yes, your imagination was always a bit limited, Winston. <laughs> I'm trying to imagine he actually did that too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I need to be... What? <laughs> I've played poker for seven years in that little room. And I've never lost once. That's because I was what? dirty. You see why the customers come now? To feed the undefeated poker champion. It's quite a draw. That is... I'm quite a draw. Whatever. Wait, you've never lost once? Not even one time! As I said, I'm a professional. Oh, the other voice that sounds like him is Pit. Oh, troops, no now! You're nothing compared to the Underlord Army. <laughs> That's kind None of... None of these characters have voices that I want to do. <laughs> well, too bad! That's what he sounds like with his objection voice. You haven't heard his MMJ. Oh, uh, his hold it voice. <laughs> As I said, I'm a professional. He's played poker for seven years and not lost once? He's played poker for seven years and not lost once? No, he does have a deeper voice than Phoenix, though. Okay. He's played poker for seven years and not lost once? Is that even possible? (laughs) (laughs) The room where we play in the competition in there are the club's main attractions. I think there's a certain number of times- Hold it! You're nothing compared to the Underlord Army! Please stop trying to give him Pitt's voice. It sounds like Pitt! No, it doesn't. The room in the crime scene photo is an attraction? It has quite a history, actually. The Borscht Bowl Club used to be a gathering spot for black market types back in the day. Like the tiger? B- black market? All in the past. Fiends like the black market are only on the silver screen nowadays. Suffice it to say that there were a lot of deals being made under the table. Right there in that room. A smoky room, gambling hoods, you know? Just looking at this picture makes me feel bad. The bosses gather around the table. Cutting deals, safe from the eyes of the law. Meanwhile, a goon keeps watch through the small window. I can practically picture it now. Because it was happening. (laughs) That window does look like it would be a good spot for keeping a lookout, but little else. The room had a few other tricks to it. Though it was common knowledge to our regulars. I thought it said a few other trucks to it. <laughs> <laughs> it had a few trucks in there. <laughs> At any rate, they can't come to play poker in a room steeped in history. Despite the dark past, it was all just good, clean fun. The rules are simple. We play a game of poker using two decks of cards. Is that normal for poker? I haven't played poker. Oh, we're about to find out. Two decks of cards? A simple measure to prevent cheating. If you alternate two decks, no one can slip in cards. Oh! There's something else I noticed. In addition to the cards on the table, there are some lines scattered on the floor. Precisely. Cards on the table, cards upon the floor. Each one forming a complete deck. A crime scene painted blue by a sad sweep of cards. It's poetic, really. Incidentally, we used two types of cards at the club. One deck of cards was red, the other was blue. Hmm. As I recall, in poker you make five card hands. <clears throat> I can see how it would be easy to cheat. <laughs> yeah. Yes. A game of hands. No guessing. A game of hands. If you don't win, you cut off your hand! <laughs> okay, so I think there's still one more statement after that. Yeah, that we haven't pressed. That's it. A game and our customers are happy. So, you claim you weren't gambling? That's right. It was simply a game. You didn't bet any money? Not even a little? The only thing at stake in our game was pride itself. Ho ho! Well put, Mr. Wright. I've got a mind to play a hand of poker myself. The stakes, your fate! Um, can we get back to the trial now? (laughs) 
can't imagine Mr. Wright lying in a testimony. Isn't it a little early to be jumping to conclusions? This is your first cross-examination. Take it slow. If you need more information, don't forget to press. R right! I got it! I'm fine! Time to listen to that testimony again. Also, I think Kristoff and uh, Phoenix's voices are too similar right now. No. Kristoff is like... Um, I mean, Kristoff's objection voice is probably is not the voice that I give him. Objection. Where he's like, OBJECTION! OBJECTION! I'M THE NERD! Well, like we, we heard him. We heard him object already. I, I didn't hear him. You never pay attention to the voices. <laughs> I never do, yeah. This competition you're talking about, I believe the court understands the nature of the game sufficiently. Th that's right! It was a simple game after all! Are you sure? Huh? People are not murdered over simple games, Mr. Justice. Defendant, you were in the room the very moment that the crime occurred. Clearly, you've never played Monopoly. Everybody gets murdered playing Monopoly. <laughs> the board flip. The game gets murdered. The game gets murdered. Yet you claim no connection to the crime? Now that's strange. What's strange? I was testifying about the competition that night. Asking me about the crime at this point is against the rules, Your Honor. What's this? Of course, I expected to hear a cry of objection from the defense. Back! <laughs> Arr, completely let that one slip by! <laughs> Don't despair yet, Justice. J sir Right. There's something I'd like made clear. Namely, your connection to the case at hand. And uh... I'd like to hear it from you. Sure, why not? Yeah. Very well, the defendant will amend his testimony. You're so chill. I'm like, did Maya die? Like, did Maya actually fall off the bridge after that whole thing <laughs> happened? And then, and then he's like, she, well, she stayed too long under the freezing waterfall. She's dead. And she's dead, and then he's like, well, She dead. I guess I'll just take up poker. Just one little press, and I've got myself a whole new testimony. Don't you dare close your eyes. I plead silence regarding the murder, but I will say I never touched the murder weapon. Huh. T silence The defendant has the right to refuse to testify. I haven't forgotten everything about the law. But why? That clearly puts you at a disadvantage! And it's your job to turn that around in our favor, yes? What the heck? Great! Well, like, I didn't have enough to do already! <laughs> I feel like that's a bit better of a voice. Yeah. Justice, didn't you detect anything odd about that testimony? Huh? Wait, something he said did ring a little strangely. Just one thing. Now what was it? <laughs> <laughs> when you figure it out, I'd suggest presenting evidence. Evidence that contradicts the testimony. A contradiction in Mr. Wright's testimony? But, but why? <laughs> I'd better check the court record. I can't imagine Mr. Wright lying in a testimony. Isn't it a little early to be jumping to conclusions? This is your first cross-examination. Take it slow. If you need more information, don't forget to press. Right, I got it. I'm fine. Time to listen to that testimony again. He kind of reminds your voice that you gave Kristoff kind of reminds me of um, can't think of his name right now, but I feel like it's pretty close to my normal voice actually. Bird boy, the guy, boy. the guy, the guy in the wheelchair with the birds. Oh, Acro. Acro. I f I'm like that is not the voice I gave the pigeon man, but different. Guy. Pigeon boy. Ha, I'm the pigeon man. That's why we're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's all it is, a game, and our customers are happy. I plead silence regarding the murder, but I will say I never he touched, touched the murder. He touched it, didn't he? Wasn't there, like, a thing that literally proved? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Bob, just... Obje OBJECTION! OBJECTION! So, you say you didn't touch the murder weapon? This grape juice bottle. Oh yeah, that sounds right? good. That sounds good. So I said. Something the matter, Mr. Justice? <laughs> Too bad our new defense attorney never learned how to play dumb. What's this, Mr. Payne? I examined the bottle in question, you see. And it was covered with the defendant's fingerprints. OBJECTION! <laughs> no need to shout, Mr. Justice. I can hear you just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I love that expression. That's so cute. <laughs> Excess yelling can damage the judge's ears and our case. But what about my cords of steel? <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyway, what's so strange about fingerprints on a bottle at a restaurant? Well, that's true. The prints alone don't prove he did. Oh, they wouldn't prove a thing if they were normal fingerprints. Huh? But the fingerprints on the murder weapon were upside down. Upside down? 
What does that mean? It means he was holding the bottle at Vernon, and there can only be one reason for that. He could have been... He could have been pouring... You don't pour upside like that! Would you like some wine? <laughs> Regret me, we, we are all, all out of wine! wine. <laughs> yes, to brain someone with the ball! Bottle helps him with the ball! Ah! <coughs> <coughs> Apollo has very over-the-top facial expressions. I like that. <laughs> Mr. Gavin, I think Feats just took a turn for the worse! Oh? I see no problem, Justice. Huh? The only thing that matters is the truth. There's a good reason for everything. You'll see. Please don't bump off Kristoff. Defendant, can you explain your fingerprints on the bottles of the court? Kristoff's one of my favorite characters. He's like, he's a good, I won't say replacement for Mia, because he doesn't... Die? <laughs> he doesn't die in the second case, I will say that, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just nice to have, like, the, a mentor who's actually good alive? at... Alive? Who's, who's not just alive, but who's actually good at defending, and not yeah. just, like, Mia's like, Bluff it, Phoenix, <laughs> you could do it! <laughs> exactly! That's part of why I was like... I can see why Phoenix Wright is no longer an attorney, because if Mia Faye no longer talks to him, he's like, I'm what? screwed! <laughs> oh, plus, also, he blatantly lied about evidence in the Trapion oh, yeah. case just to get Zinio to confess, yo! Oh, yeah, by the way, spoilers for every previous Ace Attorney game, so let's play. <laughs> yeah, well, we're assuming that if you watch this, you're gonna you're, watch you've played the, the Phoenix Wright Or you've at least or you've played seen. them, yeah. And also, you might not get a lot of inside jokes if we do that. Defendant, can you explain your fingerprints on this bottle to the court? No. I stand by my plea of silence regarding the murder. For now. Hmm. I guess you'll be. Not very cooperative, are you? This could hurt your case. I'm sure he's uncooperative because he's hiding something! There must be a reason! Objection! Your Honor, you seem to have forgotten something. And what might that be, Mr. Gavin? On the night of the crime, who was it who reported the murder to the police? Reported? Well, that was the defendant, Mr. Wright! But still, that- R really Um, yes, well, uh, according to the case file, the murder was reported from near the scene by a call from the defendant's cell phone. Near the scene? Let's take a look at the diagram of the murder scene, shall we? I sound like a grandma. <laughs> hey, Shonies, I'm Lynch Stampede! I'm Lynch Stampede! <laughs> The victim was murdered in a small room in the basement two floors down from the ground level. That's really far down. Of course, silver phones can't get reception so far down silver because- Silver phones can't get <laughs> reception in the cellar. <laughs> also, it's 2007. Of course they don't get reception down there. This actually <laughs> takes place in like 2025 or something. Yeah, well, you would get reception down there. The defendant used the stairs in the hallway to go above ground. Hey, um, hey, um, I didn't get my pizza. <laughs> Can you deliver that? <laughs> oh, also, guy <I> died. <laughs> <laughs> the call came from the first floor of the restaurant. I see. And this is the phone that made the call? What a very 2000 cell phone! <laughs> <laughs> right cell phone added to the court record. I want it to go off and have it just go doo 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 Right doo -doo. cell phone used by the defendant to notify the police of the restaurant. Okay. Well, she go look at buttons. Look around. Mm, you are. Take a turn. Whoa. Oh. It's our dad's oh. cell phone. He's duct tape on it. Wow, the batteries are held in with a piece of tape. He should buy a new one. Maybe he can't afford it. Or he just doesn't care. I'd vote likely. the second one. I'd vote the second one. <laughs> the Gumshoe does not have enough money. <laughs> the defendant could have just fled the scene of the crime if he so chose. Yet, he fulfilled his duty as a citizen and reported it to the authorities. And you claim he's being uncooperative? Uh. Nice save, Mr. Gavin. I better not waste this. I think the prosecution has toyed with our client enough for the time being. Toyed? I assure you, no one is more serious about- What was it that you said? The defendant was in the room the very moment the crime occurred. How could you possibly know this? That's a good question. How indeed? The answer is simple, Your Honor. The prosecution has a decisive witness. <laughs> You're as good as they say you are! So someone else was in the room of the night of the crime? Yeah, it was obviously Maya Faye. That must mean they witnessed the crime! Everything up till now has been a warm-up, Justice. I will be so happy if it is her. <laughs> are you ready? Very well, the prosecution may call its first witness to the stand. We'll have to do that next time on Fe Apollo- I almost said a Phoenix Wright. It's Apollo Justice's It's Apollo! Phoenix Wright's in it, Apollo but it's Wright. still Apollo Justice. It's Apollo Wright. 
aunt's attorney. Aunt's attorney. <laughs> aunt's, <laughs> my, this is my aunt's attorney. <laughs> Hi, lady. Hey, I'm your aunt. Okay. So, so this is going to be a fun Let's Play. Yeah. I know this is probably ranks on the lower end of the games for me personally. Okay. But that said, I really like this first case. I'd say it's one of the best first cases in... Yeah, thus far, it's been gripping me. I like the characters. Yeah. Characters are great. I'll, I... I I'll just say most people are like, oh yeah, this is a great first case. Okay. Even if some of the other cases are a bit lackluster. Or a bit lackluster, okay. There's one in particular I'm not, I'm not looking forward to. Maybe I'll make it better. You will. You're probably going to love the case because it's filled it's with like, these characters are insane. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. Anyways, that's enough time stalling. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you tune in for the rest of this Let's Play. It's going to be hilarious, and it's going to be awesome, and it's going to have a great story. <laughs> Look forward to that in the future. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. Case three. It'll be an insane asylum. And everybody's in there, and they're going nuts. <laughs>